Why was Lisa Kudrow afraid that she'd be fired from Friends? And I really was expecting to be fired. What did she hate about her role? You did not! And how did portraying Phoebe change her? Oh my god! Hi, I'm Dylan, and you're watching Awesome Movies. Lisa almost didn't play Phoebe. Although now it's hard to imagine someone else in that role, it could have happened. There were many other candidates for the part, including the comedian Ellen DeGeneres. Besides, Lisa didn't even believe that she'd be hired because one of her auditions was in front of director James Burroughs. Jimmy Burroughs is directing. I was like, oh, God. He's the guy who got her fired from another show, Frasier, saying that she wasn't a good fit. So when Kudrow saw him, she thought that it was over. But she was wrong, and her audition was a success. And yet, even during the first table read of Friends, it seemed to Lisa that her future in the show was dubious. She was pretty sure that she'd be fired during the first week of filming. And I had heard part of the discussion was, how do we convince the audience that she belongs in this group? Like, that's a problem. So at some point, Lisa thought that nothing would work and she even had to deliver her monologue from under the table during one of the rehearsals. Yeah, weird stuff was going on there. But no matter what, she did her best while still expecting the worst. I really was expecting to be fired that night. And I wasn't. And instead, I got to sit up with the other people. <laughs> Soon enough, the fears that Phoebe didn't belong with the group started fading away. Lisa herself thought from the beginning that if Monica likes that quirky gal, then everyone else in the gang should like her too. Because she and Monica have been roommates forever, and Monica's the kind of person who sticks with someone. And of course, fans fell in love with Phoebes from the very beginning. Although there were so many controversial things about this character, especially about her past. Let's talk about that more. Creating Phoebe Buffet It wasn't an easy task for Lisa to develop an image of her character because of all the ordeals she had been through. Well, my mother had killed herself, and my stepfather was in prison, and that's how I ended up living in New York or something, you know, in a car. Yeah, that's one trauma after another. But at the same time, she had to be funny because, hey, it's a sitcom after all. And Lisa managed to find a way to make Phoebe funny despite her dark past. What helped her was remembering a girl she knew in college. She had to work at a nursing home to make a living. And somehow that girl always managed to find something funny and something to love about being there. And Lisa realized that she had to borrow that girl's attitude for Phoebe. I thought, okay, that's what this person needs to have. That attitude of doesn't feel sorry for herself at all, the actress said. For her, it wasn't a big deal to come from a dysfunctional family and grow up on the streets of New York. It was just her experience. And I know I'm not wrong when I say that Phoebe's laid-back attitude to her dark past was one of the things that made us fall in love with her. Another thing that was fascinating about Phoebe is that she connected the Friends universe to another popular sitcom, Mad About Ursula. Phoebe's evil twin came to life before her. When Lisa was only an aspiring actress, she didn't get many roles. She was running out of money when her agent said that a new show titled Mad About You was looking for a guest star to play in a few scenes. Back then, the role was just referred to as The Waitress. Kudrow was ready to do anything at that point, so she quickly went to the audition, knowing that she could improvise anything and make the scene funny. The casting crew liked her, and the waitress got a name, Ursula, and became a recurring character in Mad About You. I thought that was the best show on TV at the time. Anyway, it was so smart, they were so great. And Lisa actually hoped that she'd evolve from a recurring to a regular character there. She didn't even think that she could become a regular on some other show just like that. And then Friends came. Since the shows aired back to back on the same channel, the producers felt the need to explain why Lisa was on both of them. So without much further ado, they just decided to combine them into one universe and make Phoebe and Ursula twin sisters. It was quite an exciting twist. And it was also funny to see Phoebe's twin sister, who had all the same traumatic family experiences, and realize how differently she turned out. Oh my god, they were two versions of different idiots. At some point, the showrunners decided to make the connection between these two sitcoms more evident. And in one of the first season episodes of Friends, we saw a crossover with Mad About You. The show's stars, Helen Hunt and Layla Kenzel, came to Central Perk and mistook Phoebe for Ursula. So, so you're here too, much as you are. <laughs> the way she took their order and completely ignored them afterward made them think. It's definitely her. Yeah. <laughs> But playing both Phoebe and Ursula wasn't always a wonderful experience for Lisa. Twin sis troubles. In fact, Kudrow grew to hate filming the twin scenes. Well, sure, it's not easy to film a scene where you have to play both characters. 
You have to shoot it twice, and you have to work with the double, which is not always easy. And somehow, Lisa made the situation even more difficult for herself when she invited her sister Helena to be her double in the scenes with Ursula. You might think that it would be easier for her to film with her own sister, but in Lisa's case, it only gave her more stress. Here's how the show's executive producer Kevin S. Bright commented on the situation. I think feeling the stress she put her sister into by being the double was more in her head at the time, so those scenes were a little tricky to shoot. Luckily, Lisa's tension didn't translate to the final product, and the scenes with Phoebe and Ursula looked great. Even if they looked awkward, it was pretty natural because of the tense relationship the sisters had. And luckily for the actress, there weren't too many scenes with both of them. But still, playing a twin wasn't the only issue Kudrow experienced on the set of Friends. Lisa wasn't prepared for the role? Don't get me wrong, she was perfect as Phoebe, but one thing was lacking. Phoebe was supposed to play guitar and sing, but Lisa didn't know anything about the instrument. And what's even more important, she didn't really want to learn. Like the guitar, I wasn't getting it. And so I think I even asked, what if she plays the bongos? Well, it might have been fun, but the writers weren't too thrilled about the idea of Phoebe playing the bongos. So they eventually brought a guitar teacher in to help Lisa learn at least something. And, well, that's what she ended up learning, at least something. I mean, she picked a couple of chords and said that she was done with it, explaining that Phoebe wouldn't know too much about playing anyway. In a way, Lisa was right. Eventually, Smelly Cat turned out to be perfect the way it was. Smelly Cat, Smelly Cat, what are they feeding you? And in one of the episodes, we found out that Phoebe learned to play the guitar by herself and even had her own names for the chords. It's amazing that even though Lisa didn't know how to play, she still managed to make it work. After all, her musical style was totally in keeping with Phoebe's quirky personality. Was Lisa not good enough? All the Friends actors have always been gorgeous, and we loved them. But just like everyone else, they also had moments when they were critical of their appearance. Lisa, for example, struggled with body insecurity for a large part of the series. The actress once shared that she couldn't even watch herself on the screen because she didn't like how she looked. The thing is, it seemed to Lisa that she was way too big compared to her co-stars, Courtney and Jennifer. I was taller, bigger, my bones feel bigger, I just feel like this mountain of a woman next to them," she shared. Although it might seem ridiculous that she could possibly think so of herself, Lisa would often follow a weight loss diet to look more like her colleagues. Everyone would comment that she looked good when she got thinner, and it encouraged her to lose more weight. But unfortunately, losing weight wasn't easy for the actress. When I was too thin, I was sick all the time. A cold, sinus infection, I was always sick, Kudrow admitted. Fortunately, over time, the actress learned to accept herself as she was and have a positive outlook on her body image. But despite all the troubles she faced throughout Friends, playing Phoebe certainly paid off. What Lisa really thinks about her role? Well, I'm sure you aren't surprised. She always loved Phoebe. I didn't see Phoebe as someone who doesn't get things or doesn't pay attention, the actress said. She was someone who just saw the world differently. Her take was completely different, but she was really committed to it. Well, she's totally right. Phoebe became such an amazing character that Kudrow was the first Friends actor to win an Emmy Award. And it was even more interesting for Lisa to play Phoebe because she was so different from the actress's personality in real life. It's like this sort of ditzy, new agey sort of, you know, uh, that has nothing to do with me. I mean, I couldn't be a more like rational, practical. But after portraying her for 10 whole years, it was impossible for Lisa not to take some traits from Phoebe. In fact, this character eventually changed her. I merged the parts of me I could into that character, but she taught me. She influenced me, Lisa said to Rolling Stone. I was much more sort of serious, uptight. She loosened me up. And when the show ended, the actress even admitted that some part of her died. I mean, we've shot scenes in between crying, is how it felt. After all these years, being part of the cast was no longer about being committed to a role or to a contract. All the actors loved each other. And that's part of the reason why the show became so successful. They were all friends in real life. If you liked this video, watch another one we made about Matt LeBlanc's struggles while playing Joey in Friends. And stay awesome!